I'm going to show you guys how to make long form videos and short form videos using three chat GPT plugins all from one prompt. So what you want to do first is you want to go to chat GPT and these are the plugins that I use going to be Canva. We're going to use that for the thumbnail. We're going to use CapCut. That's going to edit the actual video and we're also going to use Wikipedia. Okay. All right. So here's the actual prompt. I would like you to do these tasks in order for Wikipedia. Please generate a concise summary about artificial intelligence using information from Wikipedia, limit the text under 100 words and use vocabulary suitable for a 12 year old. Now for CapCut, create a video using the CapCut plugin that visually represents the key concepts of artificial intelligence. The video should be engaging and easy to understand. For Canva, design an eye-catching thumbnail using the Canva plugin and this image should be relevant to the topic of artificial intelligence and attract viewers attention. All right, the first thing it's done, it's gone to Wikipedia and it's grabbed some information here about artificial intelligence. Now guys, you don't have to use Wikipedia. You can obviously make your own scripts. That's what ChatGPT is really good at doing. You can also rewrite the text or you could ask ChatGPT to write the information. This is gonna be the information that's gonna be used in the video. And you can see here, it's actually uh, giving me a link of where it sourced its information. Click onto it, it takes you to the artificial intelligence page on Wikipedia. Now let's move on to creating a video about AI using the CapCut plugin. If you guys don't know what CapCut is, it's an app that's used on your phone to help you edit videos, okay? Check it out, it's actually pretty cool. For the CapCut task, I'll create a script that visually represents the key concepts of artificial intelligence in an engaging and easy to understand manner. And the video will aim to explain AI to general audience. And you can see here as well, and it's gonna be in 16 by nine. So this is gonna be the long form video, not a short. Shall we proceed with the plan? Yes, continue. Okay, perfect. So let's have a look at the video. Okay, so it's actually taken us to the CapCut desktop website. This is the video, it goes for about 39, four, just under 40 seconds. You can see here it's added all the photos and all the information. Let's watch it. Artificial intelligence or AI is like giving brains to computers, making them capable of thinking, learning, and solving problems. Imagine a robot learning to cook or a computer program recommending you movies. That's AI at work. It's not magic, but a blend of math, science, and creativity self-driving cars to virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, AI is slowly becoming a part of our daily lives. It's a fascinating world where machines learn from experiences, understand the world, and help make our lives easier. All right, let's be honest. Even a 12-year-old would actually think that that video is shit. Either way, it's, it has done the video all from one prompt, and it's obviously sourced uh, generic stock images uh, from the website. I don't even know where the audio came from. Probably that's audio that's embedded within the CapCut website. The thing to remember guys, this has only just been released like maybe several weeks ago, maybe less than a month ago. So it's pretty good for the introductory. Maybe in the future, it might get really, really good. All right, let's go back to ChatGPT. Now let's move on to designing an eye-catching thumbnail image for the video using Canva plugin. The image will be relevant to the topic of artificial intelligence and designed to attract viewers' attention. Shall we proceed with this plan? Yes, we may. Here are some thumbnail templates from Canva that you might find appealing for your video on artificial intelligence. Now it's created about five different thumbnail designs. It's done a very good generic template. Now I believe we'll be able to jump into this and we'll be able to edit the template. Let's just go with this one here, Blue Modern Artificial Intelligence YouTube Thumbnail. All right, so now this has taken us to the Canva desktop website. This is what I like about Canva. It's already done this template design for me. Go in here, change the word, maybe something that's more relevant for your video. We can change the size of this. We can grab it, we can move it around. If you wanna go and change the, the actual background of the photo. If I had to say which plugin is probably the most useful one, I would say it's this one, this thumbnail generator. It, the reason why I think it's good is that it's created something for you to actually make you think, hmm, what would be a good idea? And then you can go in there, you can change it. It might even just give you an idea to make your own template. So I think this is probably the, the best plugin out of all three. All right, so let's go to YouTube now. Let's go upload video. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to actually upload this video, but I'm just going to show you how easy that was. Let's go to the downloads. Let's drag it on here. Now it's obviously going to ask me for the title. It's going to ask me for the description. Let's get ChatGPT to write all of that. All right, so I've gone back to ChatGPT and I've written on here, create me a YouTube title and also a YouTube description. 
for the video. All right, so you can see here, it's giving me a generic title. It doesn't really know what the video is about, but unlocking the mysteries of AI, a beginner's guide to artificial intelligence. Let's just copy that. All right, and then it's actually done me a description as well. Dive into the captivating world of artificial intelligence. I think you guys get the idea. Let's just copy that. All right, and then we go to the uh, section here where it's asking me for the thumbnail. So we go here, grab the thumbnail. All right, thumbnail is uploaded. So there you have it, guys. We've done a generic YouTube video in the span of, I'd say it's probably taken, maybe if I wasn't explaining everything, that probably could have taken me less than five minutes. No effort. I'm gonna add the prompt that I used in the description below. So you can just go in there and grab it and have a play around with it. I'd recommend guys go in there, give this a go, maybe think of your own topic and just, yeah, see what you get. Maybe you can make the video better. Maybe you can get the, uh, the thumbnail to look better. Let me know in the comment section below if you found this useful, guys. Anyway, I'll leave you guys to it and you guys have a great day.